Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Galore. Today I just wanted to discuss my first job experience. And I got my first job at KFC. Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Anyways, so this experience was actually quite horrible. Okay, so first I wanted to start off with just how rude um the managers were, the management, the management of that whole place was terrible. People were constantly quitting the job, basically. Um, yeah, it pretty much sucked, and everyone had favorites and whatever, which I really didn't care so much about. I was just there to work. I was not there to make friends. No shit like that. Bitch, give my money. So, my first two weeks or so working there, um, I had went into work one day, and I had worked for just about two hours, and then they're gonna tell me that I was never on the clock. First of all, bitch, who gonna run my money? Who gon' run me my money for them two hours I just worked? That don't make no type of sense. But anyway, I, at the time I didn't understand how much of a dangerous situation that was. Because had I like gotten hurt during that time that I was um was not on the clock but at work, then I couldn't hold the job reliable for my injuries if I didn't pay for anything because of the fact I wasn't on the clock. But they just let me go without telling me anything like that. And you know, at the time I didn't make such a big deal about it. I didn't know much about it. And so yeah, that later on when I figured that out, it really pissed me off. But there's more to this fuckery. So yeah, back to the management. After um that, um first of all, there was some good managers working there. I'm not gonna sweat and that like there wasn't any, but I'll get to the good managers last. Um, first of all, okay, so there was this one manager I was working with one night. This is like Again, early on in them hiring me, and I was still in training. And so, but there was pretty much nobody there to train me that night or show me things to do. And this one manager, she was just expecting me to know everything off the top of my head. This is my first job. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So I can't exactly help you the way you want me to. But anyway, but I was still doing something. It's not like I wasn't doing anything. Anyway, so I'm sitting here cleaning up. The restaurant and everything and i guess she's taking orders she showed no sign of any help or anything like that i mean i understand some people want you to come up and whatever but i didn't know that so um i'm continuing doing what i'm doing cleaning up my stations and stuff like that until she asked me to do something or something like that and next thing you know i hear this black bitch on the phone <laughs> so she's on the phone and she's talking to somebody i'm guessing another manager and she's over here like well, she over here, she ain't doing nothing. She's sitting over there smelling like she's fucking stupid. And then she said something like, um, uh, try to remember. She said, oh, she said, she said, I'm, I'm getting ready to slap her. Yes, that is what she said. I'm getting ready to slap. Lord knows, Jesus, Jesus. No, I did not react the way you probably think I did. I didn't go up and slap the bitch like I should have. But, um, I didn't go over and try to ask her, do you need any help? Whatever. She's well, yeah, you can, you can do this, you can do that, you can get this over here. I need help with these orders. You ain't doing nothing. I said, I just got on the job. I apologized. So, it was coming to the end of my shift, and this manager asked me to take a picture. Is she, can't you take a picture of me? And I'm like, why do you need a picture of me? And she's like, oh, it's just for another manager. Okay, so I let her take a picture of me like an idiot. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, so I get up working and I tell my mom. My mom calls up. She's furious. And she's like, why are you taking pictures of my daughter and stuff? And pretty much, it didn't really go anywhere after that. And the cook, the chef was just as messy. Tell me, this nigga was so messy. But anyway, so, um, see, I did ask why you need to picture of me and stuff like that. And it was just so annoying working with them. But... The management was terrible. Let me just tell you, like, it's just, it, the management was really bad. One of my managers in particular, I believe she was the head manager or whatever, a uh, general manager, she would come into work high every day. She would come into work high on um, drugs, whatever, having the munchies, tearing up all the food, um, bringing her drug dealer boyfriend to work. The nigga was in the work, had the headset on. Like, you, how ghetto can you be? Like, it was just ridiculous. Like, she had, okay, you would just come in and mess with stuff. She'd give them free food, everything like that. That could have been reported. But, of course, at the time, I did not know that. I could have definitely reported that, and I really should have. I believe somebody probably already did. Hopefully, they have. But, um, okay. So, yeah, it was ridiculous. And then, like, she, she would do stuff like that. Again, she had her favorites and stuff. And there was this one girl. I'm guessing this girl had been working there for years or whatever. And, you know, I really disliked her because of the fact that she treated me, along with the manager, 
um, as if I was slow and like I didn't, they never gave me a chance to show them that I knew what I was doing, that I was actually taught. Well, they, they were not teaching me anything. They were not teaching me anything, but, but getting mad at me when I didn't know what I was doing. But, um, so they weren't teaching me anything, and then I had, uh, there was this one manager, like I said, they were good managers, the good manager, she would actually sit there and teach me how to do everything, give me the chance to do it, and stuff, like, you know, they give me the chance to interact with customers, stuff like that, but them, they would just take over, every time I try to do something, they'll just take over and try to hurry to rush to do stuff, like, come on, can I do something like day and then like I said people were leaving that place like it was no tomorrow everybody was quitting because it was such a shitty job like let me just tell you okay there was this one uh cook I was working with he was new to the job and, you know they were barely paying him they were barely giving him any hours and he at least at least he was sort of like me like that there were places in that restaurant that hadn't been cleaned in like forever and it was disgusting like, I mean, disgusting. And he would literally get up there and scrub and clean. And I was like, finally, seeing somebody do that. I mean, I never had time to because I'm always trying to, I'm trying to, the way I had to learn things was watch people do it because nobody would teach me the proper way at least. So it was difficult to get around work and everything and like all the attitudes and stuff. Anyway, so, and I would, um, and so yeah, Kevin, Kevin, that's the cook name. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but he quit. And um, I should have walked out with him. So I always, as soon as I got into work, I would always start cleaning. I'll find something to do basically. And all the other uh, workers who were all buddy buddy with the managers and whatever, they would be sitting under the manager and um, eating all the chicken and like just sitting there talking. And I knew they were talking about me, but you know that's not what I'm worried about. Like I said in the beginning, I'm here for my money. I don't that's all I'm here for I'm not here to make any friends at all I don't care about y'all <laughs> so um yeah so they would just talk about me all the time and you know it was really difficult to get around that workplace period and so eventually I had moved from the place I was at I had moved from the uh, house I was at and I moved here to where, I'm, to where I am currently and um I was and I was I kept calling my, first of all they gave me one day of each week we got paid every two weeks they gave me one day of each week and i was like what four hours <laughs> but that was why i couldn't come into work anyway like i said I, I never got any hours anyway but um they gave me they gave me those two days i was definitely prepared to come in before i had moved but i was in the middle of moving and i let them know that before the time as well and i kept calling in checking to make sure i was i was good and they and there was this one manager I was talking to and she was telling me, Yeah, you're fine, you're fine and then I was eventually asking for a transfer because there's a KFC closer to my house that I'm at now. And so that KFC I was trying to get a transfer so I can work there. She kept saying she was gonna get it together and everything. The manager just kept saying everything's fine. So the last day I ended up calling again and because I, I had no transportation to my to my job, it's too far away now. And so and I kept asking, I'm like, am I gonna get this transfer? I was just calling, oh, I called and I said, I was just calling about my transfer. And they're like, oh, you've been terminated. And really, I didn't care so much about my wife. And they're like, oh, because they said they're not taking that BS uh, excuse of you not being able to come into work. <laughs> wow. I said, like, okay, that's fine. I hung up the phone. And that was the end of it with that KFC. I was just done. You know, it was the worst, ter it was the most terrible work experience. I didn't even go into complete depth about how bad that experience was for me. But I didn't want to make this video that long. But basically, it was very much, the it was the worst experience I ever had. And, and you know, I don't really want to go back to fast food. But yeah, it was pretty sad. I hated working there. The workers were terrible. The, the managers were terrible. Everybody was quitting. The managers were completely giving up. Like literally, they were like every day I'm coming into work saying I'm, I'm getting ready to quit this job. I'm going to my new one. The other one said she was working at she's gonna go to AT and T. I'm like, if they if they hire you, but like, like yeah, it was just pretty pathetic. The job was pathetic. Everyone, almost all the managers were pathetic. It, the workers were as well, <laughs> like, and not all of them, but most of them, yeah, and. Yeah, it was pretty much a terrible, terrible job. I really hated it there. I hated every second of being there. 
you know but I still try to keep my work as enthusiastic as possible my favorite part of the job which is so crazy to say was interacting with customers I love to talk to customers like anything any I was I did not like to talk to the my workers whoever I'm working with I didn't talk to them the customers coming hi how you doing whatever I'm ready to talk to you because I like talking to customers they're they're normally in a good mood normally or if they're not in a good mood I'm gonna try to put you in a good mood basically and so I mean I'm not the, a jokester or much like that in person but like I would still try to be nice and put you in a good mood basically and so pretty much that's what I would do and um I really like the customer for the most part but there was this one customer oh god bitch <laughs> he made me mad I don't know but he was really killing my vibe like and then like it was I, my mind was every day, everywhere that day I understand you shouldn't let your emotions interfere with your work ethic and stuff like that I completely understand that but that day in particular like I said the managers were terrible and I was having a really bad day with them and um my mind was everywhere and so this man had a certain amount of cookies on his order and so I had put the cookies on his order that were there or whatever I gave him he said well actually I had forgot his cookie the first time he's like excuse me I had a cookie I gave him the cookie do you not see that thing? There's two cookies. I give him another cookie. I look back up and there was actually three cookies with his order. And he's like, there's three up there. And I was just, you know, my, I gave him his last cookie. And he's all mad and shit and stuff. Like, you know, it was just the rudest thing ever. And like, I was so, that just, that was my freaking break after that. I had to go somewhere. Because <laughs> that just, that just, mm -mm. that and my day was getting worse and worse. And now that, that, but yeah, it wasn't the best. This is just, like I said, everybody was quitting that job. You know, the way I took it was that when I got fired from there, um, was that that wasn't the place I was supposed to be. And I know it wasn't. You know, my mind is too creative for such an environment. And you know, I just, I can't, you know, obviously I know I'm going to be something special. <laughs> I know I'm going to be somewhat special. So I'm not... I'm not gonna limit myself to that type of stuff. I'm not, and I wasn't gonna be there that long anyway. I was getting ready to quit, but like, if I didn't get my transfer done, but I'm, I'm actually happy that they fired me because even though, yeah, I didn't, I don't exactly miss that chump change I was getting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Beauty Door. I just wanted to do that little rant session about my first job. Don't let this sway your opinion on any other KFCs that you might want to work at because I heard most of them are great. Like, uh, my, some of my friends and some of my family have worked at certain KFCs and had a great experience. So don't let that sway your opinion. Don't follow my, don't follow what I'm giving you because I don't want to sway your opinion. I want you to go in and get your own experience. Because everybody has a different experience. You know, you might be a better worker than me. You might be a better, better with your emotions than I am. <laughs> so yeah, go, go get your own experience. Go get your own opinions with other people and learn and do the right thing. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, stay tuned for more beauty doors.